Hey everyone, hope you all are well. The first thing I'm doing today as always is priming the eye area and to do that I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm sweeping some of this across the lid and it is a tinted primer but as you blend it, it fades clearly into the skin and I'm just using a Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush now to blend this into the skin to make sure my shadows apply and blend nice and smoothly and last all day long as well. My palette of choice today is the Makeup Revolution Iconic Division palette. I bought this years ago because I heard it was a dupe for the ABH Subculture palette, which was a flop, and my purchase has served me really well over the years. So the first shadow I'm taking is that Warm Light Terracotta shade. It's the first one in on the last row, and I'm using my Coastal Sense BR 250 Pro Blending Brush just to buff this into the crease. And this is going to act as our transition shade. So I'm just using a mix of circular and windshield wiper motions, moving the brush across the crease to fade out the shadow. And usually I would add a couple of layers to build up the intensity, but with this shade, I was pleased with how just one layer looked. So the next shade I'm taking then is that khaki green on the top row, the third shadow in, and I'm using a smaller brush to add this into the crease now. So the brush that I'm using is the Sedona Lace EB09 Universal Blending Brush. This shadow though, unlike the last one, um, definitely benefits from layering. So with one layer, you get a light wash of color, which is all right. Um, once it can be layered up, I, I don't really mind that. Um, so I'm just sweeping the shadow across the crease and down on the inner part of the lid and back around out onto the outer third of the lid, leaving a blank space in the middle. Then I'm going to go in with a second helping of this shadow, just starting out by tapping it down on the inner portion of the eyelid, sweeping across the crease again, and I'm just blending over and back using little circular motions to fade out this shade. To deepen that green slightly now, I'm taking the green on the bottom row, the third shadow in, on that same brush and I'm just repeating the process. And I think this palette is just perfect for this time of year in particular. You've got 15 shadows in the palette in a mix of warm and cool tones. You've got pops of green and the shadows come in a range of finishes too. And they're really, really easy to work with. For six euro, I think the palette, you just, it's just great. You just really can't go wrong with it. So I'm still focusing now on building up that depth. So I'm taking that first shade in on the second row, that really dark green on that same brush. And I'm just repeating the steps once again, keeping the shadow though a little lower in the crease each time so that you can see that gradient effect. And you don't need a ton of brushes, even though you're working with multiple different shades. Um, if you work your colors up from light to dark, like I have been, and just wipe off the brush in between, you're not going to have an issue. So I'm just gonna keep buffing and blending until I'm happy with how diffused that shadow is. Just to make sure that we can still see that orangey shade in the finished look, I'm going back in with that Coastal Sense blending brush and a touch more of that shadow on it, and I'm running over the edges, and this will also help fuse it together with the green a little more as well. So one of my favorite shadows in the palette now is that shimmery green, second last shadow on the second row. I've picked this up on a flat E24 shader brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I've sprayed my brush with a little of the collection primed and ready fixing spray, the dewy one, just to help those shimmery particles pop. And I'm patting this down in the center of the lid and I didn't bother cleaning up with concealer or cutting the crease or anything like that. I just wanted a softer appearance to the look. Then I'm taking the Sedona Lace Blending Brush again with no product on it and I'm blending across the crease just to remove any shimmery particles that may have transferred up there. So I'm going in now with the darkest shade in the palette, that matte black there in the bottom corner, and I'm using a small C-shaped brush from Sedona Lace just to pat this into the lash line on the inner and outer corners of the eye, and I'm leaving that center part bare. So I'm just applying this at the lash line, blending it then slightly upwards and then inwards, just to make sure that it does fade in with that glitzy green, and applying a bit of depth, um, like with the black eyeshadow, a bit of darkness to the inner and outer corners, I just just think it helps pull that lighter green shade forward and emphasizes it a bit more as well. For the lower lash line then, I'm taking that light plum shade, that's the second shadow in on the second row, 
and I'm using a little bullet shaped brush just to blend this down along the lower lash line from outer to inner corner and I really like how a different color along the lower lash line looks it's just something that I haven't done with a while in a while and I just really like the finish um but next then I'm taking that darker kind of plummy brown next to the black on that same bullet shaped brush from Vanity Planet and I'm sweeping this down along the lower lash line too just to deepen up the look a bit for the waterline then I'm taking one of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencils in the shade Alkaline and I think this pairs really really well with those two shadows that we've used previously so I'm running this inside the eye. Then I'm taking some more of that black shadow on a curved angled brush from Vanity Planet. I'm placing this up underneath the lashes, pushing that black right in at the lash bed and I'm keeping this to the outer third of the eye. Then I'm going to push it into the lash line on the outer and inner third of the upper lash line too, just to add a bit more dimension to the area as well. For lashes, I've popped on some of the Desire Lashes from the Sosu 7 Deadly Sins collection. I can't get enough of these lately. And then I'm using some of the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones. This is just a travel size version. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did, please do let me know. And I'll catch you all in a video really soon.